That uh, mate, like I was saying, you gotta get the good stuff. You gotta go to Bunnings. You can't be running around there with that cheap shit. Well, did you buy the Gatorade? Well, I'll no, turn it no, up. I got it last time. No, you didn't. Oh, we're live. Oh, shit. shit. All right. <clears throat> Welcome back, everyone. Oh, to the no, three. no, mate. It's, uh, it's my turn to do the intro. Come on. All right, then go for it. Jesus, I don't care. <coughs> so much. Good evening, mm -hmm. ladies and gents. Today on the three Bs, we're unpacking the mystical world of horoscopes. Astrology, to be precise, mate. Yeah, um, thanks, mate. Yeah. On the show, we'll have an expert in the world of the astrological and a how-to cooking segment on making some out-of-this-world brownies. And don't forget to stay tuned for this week's sponsor, Crazy Clark's Mystical Crystals. So, without any further ado, let's put our clappers together for our guest of the day, Mystical Mark. Mark, mate. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Bloody good to see you, mate. Thanks. So... We think it's pretty clear us two Drongos yeah. know of just about piss all about this uh, stuff. So what are we doing today? Uh, well, today I'll be giving you guys a crash course on astrology. Oh, mad sick. Yeah, dope. So, uh, what is it? Well, astrology is the study of the planetary objects to uh, determine people's personality. Oh, okay. so how, how do they tell us that? Uh, well, based on the planets, uh, when, when and where you were born, uh, I can determine different things. So, uh, what specifically is a star sign? Uh, well, there are 12 star signs, um, and they each break up different times in the year. Mm. Okay, alright, interesting. So, what does a star sign actually do? You, you don't think a star sign could um, uh, help me pull girls, do you? Oh, God. Uh, Please? Well, it actually could. Uh, really? So, there are different compatibilities between yeah. the star signs, uh, like an Aquarius and a Libra. So if you know what you are, you know what they are, you can see if they like you. Uh, so what does it mean that my star sign is a virgin? <laughs> nah, mate, um, your star sign's actually a Virgo. You're, well, you're just a sad virgin. Okay, I'm not sad, and I told you that in confidence, and you said you wouldn't Take tell Take one look at your hat, mate. I'm pretty sure they can tell. Uh, well, it's a great thing you brought that up. Yeah. What, that he's a virgin? Stop, it's not for No, that he's a Virgo. Ah, Virgo's an earth sign, and uh, that means it's quite stable and reliable. Okay, so if uh, my sign's an Aries, uh, what great things that tell you about me? Well, uh, yeah, Aries is uh, the fire starter, really. So it's quite hot-headed, oh, no. you know, a boss, not a leader. It's God. quite... I cannot believe this. Mark. Are you hearing this? Yeah, I'm hearing it, mate. Me? Short-tempered? Yep. Me? Well, I mean, it's also dependent on, like, your rising No, 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 thank you. Like, Thank you, but I don't want to hear another bar of it. I'm out. I'm leaving. Don't take Terry. it. Terry. Terry. It's every week. It's okay. Don't dare you let him insult me on my show. Down, calm down. I'm please. not sitting here for another minute no, with him no. around. Okay, listen. You do your job and go back on set. No chance, mate. Not with him here. Just I'm leaving, calm Terry. Calm down. Are you? F Record them, not me. This isn't a reality show. Gosh. So, uh, due to my co-host being a little suck, Mate, you're still mic'd up. Oh, I can hear you. Don't make me come over there. Oh, I dare you to. I dare you. He's just had to step outside for some air. While I sit here and reevaluate my life choices, let's go to Cin Cindy with the cooking segment. Uh, it's actually Joey. It's Joey? Mm, all right, this will be interesting. Let's roll the clip and see how she does. Welcome back! So today we've finally gotten Terry to renew my f contract. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Joey, and for those of you who do, I know you f missed me. B so um, I know that we're probably gonna get a few comments in like the section below about where Cindy. I miss Cindy. Ma. Well, her ratings were a sh show, and I didn't want to see her fat. F face anymore so she got a fire um can we not talk about sending you like that what that she's a two-faced flaggy mole yeah it's unprofessional you know what terry you just like <sighs> fine whatever okay so today on cooked <laughs> we're gonna be making out of this world brownies crazy there's no weed in them is there um yeah i mean 
No, Jesus, Terry, this is a professional production. Like, why would you even take it there? Like, I don't even look like that kind of person that would smoke weed. Like, what? I'm just making sure. Yeah, well, it's just weird, all right? Ruining my mood. Okay, oh, okay. so step number one of the production is to light our dories. <laughs> Oi. What? You can't smoke in here. What do you mean I can't smoke in here? <laughs> what the f***, Terry? It, it's f company policy. Oh my f***. Like, just, you just, I'm just had enough. You're flaring up my anxiety. Let's just it's move past It's f*** health and safety. No, let's just move past it. So first, we're adding in um the powder mix, and then we're adding in the plain flour, and then the butter, and then the f***ing eggs, and then a ton of milk, okay? So basically, after you've put the entire contents of your ingredients into your bowl, what I want you to do is grab out this little container right here, and I just want you to like scoop it up into there like so, okay? And then we're going to put it in a microwave for about two to three darts. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Have we fired Joey? Holy f Cindy doing here, Terry? I thought you knew your contract was ended. What the f am I like? Am I high right now? Just some Jerry Springer <laughs> Terry. So Explain yourself. Joey, here's the thing. We're gonna fire you, but we're gonna let you keep the little last segment, so. I work my ass up and You're... this is the s that I listen, get. Listen, listen. You know what? Just... No, Terry. No. I'm leaving. And f this production. Gavin? I'm gonna call you later, you're gonna eat some brownies, and I'm gonna cry with you. Fucking bullshit. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. Yeah. Terry, you had time to edit in all those bleeps and sound effects, mm. but you don't have time to re-record all this. This is ridiculous, Terry. It's a joke, it's a goddamn joke, Terry. I'll tell you what's not a joke, mate. This brownie, this is something else. Where the fuck did you... I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask. I'm just gonna. One moment, boys, please. I'll sign out finally the Holy Spirit. Okay. Amen. And welcome back to the three Bs. We have our final guest, Crazy Clark, and this is his mystical crystals. Whoa, mate, hold up, hold up. I'm sorry, that is where I draw the line. I am not touching that shit. What? Oh, <laughs> no, no, it's not meth, mate. No, these crystals. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. shit, yeah, the oh, sponsor. <laughs> Doi. Yeah. Uh, great to have you in Clarky Boy. Yeah, yeah, really, mate. Thanks, thanks, my guy. Nice to be here. <laughs> so, uh, mate, let us know, what do we do with them? No, you just have them. What? You just have them, mate. Nah, go on, you know, what, what do they actually do? Like, each crystal has its own, like, healing power. Uh, like what? Oh, well, like, this one. This is Ross's Cortez. It's actually Rose Quartz. That's why I said Rose Quartz, and it's meant to help you with your love life. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and this one's a moonstone, and it stabilizes your... Um... No, mate, uh, that's what my antidepressants are for. You need a talk. <sighs> this one's a Kawinky Dink. No, that's a citrine. Yeah, ketamine, that's what I said. Ah. It's meant to help you make money. <laughs> Fuck, wouldn't mind a bit of that. <laughs> I reckon, I. And this one's called an amethyst, and it's for protection. <laughs> protection? Psh, mate, my pull-out game is pretty strong. I'll, I'll testify. Ask your missus, John. Yeah, she tells me all about it. <laughs> yeah, no, like physical protection, not Wait, that one. So that that little rock is meant to protect me. Yeah, that's what well, I'm saying. Do I throw it at people? What do I do? No, you keep it in your house. <laughs> what? You just keep that in the house? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Look, um, honestly, mate, we appreciate you coming down. We really, really do. Yeah, you're a nice guy. But really. uh, <laughs> frankly, at this stage, I'd rather have done the math. Oh, okay, that's probably... <laughs> Remember what we talked about. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Clark, for joining us today. You can, you can leave now. And join us next week on The 3Bs, where we talk about the female G-spot. Is it real? How do I find it? And will it make my bitch of a girlfriend stop yelling at uh, me? That might be a bit too Not far, likely. Mate. Sorry, I love you. Just in that Yeah, you know, I think she watches a fair bit. All right, anyway. Boo, and we'll catch you yobos later. What are you still doing here? Go. And cut. <laughs>